Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner and welcome to Real Magic Review. Today I shall be reviewing Thin Air by Ignacio Lopez. Before we do this review, I'd like you to uh, go and check out www.that's World Wide Web. No, you don't have to do that. OnlineMagic.co. Just type that in. OnlineMagic.co. Even better, click the link below to go and see uh, my online magic course. Over 500 video tutorials and growing every single month. Live sessions. We did a live session yesterday on my professional repertoire. I'm going to do it over weeks. Kind of, um, exposing. Exposing. Wrong word. Um, Teaching, that's, that's a, the word I, want, I was looking for, <laughs> my professional repertoire with details, performance detail, go and have a look at it and like and subscribe if you like it. Right, this is um, a lovely production of a deck of cards, well it's more than that, but at the moment let's just say it's a lovely production of a deck of cards because that's the thing I think that gets people. Impressive way. <gasps> yeah. um, when I first saw the video of this, I thought it was really lovely. I thought I, I lo there's something lovely about producing a deck of cards that is spread on the table. And then I got it and played with it and went, oh, is, it, is it good though? Because surely people are just going to go, well, it's the, it's the thing you're using. And, and the thing you're using is, uh, is this. It's a, it's a, a cloth. Now, cloth, that sort of belittles it a little bit, doesn't it? It's a silk, a lovely piece of silk, that's what it is. It's, a, it's an old dish cloth. <laughs> it's, not, it's a piece of cloth, I suppose it sounds better. But, um, yeah, so it's, it's lovely black silk and you produce deck cards with it. You can also do other things, like you can do a card through table. You can do this lovely routine he does with aces, which I practiced, which I'll have some footage off. Um, please be aware this is practice footage. So I don't think I expose anything, but it's not slick um, but this isn't after hours of of practice so I really love this um, this diminishing aces routine basically not diminishing cards as in getting smaller but you start with four aces and then go down to one ace and he uses it in a very subtle way it's not he's not overusing the prop so don't think that you're doing the same thing for each other. you're not and that's the important thing with this I think overuse of this is very easy so the card through table's fine, the transpositions are fine, all those things are good, but for me, the real thing is that producing a deck of cards is a beautiful way to get into a magic trick, as I did with the girls from the, um, the office next door. Got them all in, went into it like that, got a great response, and then went into a card trick. Um, I'm gonna do a card trick, but just getting the cards out would be a little bit tedious. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do this in a slightly more impressive way. <gasps> so. <laughs> I've got my mind blown, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna happen. So, um, name a card out loud. What card do you want? Just anyone. What's your name, by the way? Charlotte. Charlotte, what card uh, would you like? Uh, five of Diamonds. Five of Diamonds. All right, so we've got the Five of Diamonds there. That's not the trick. Um, <laughs> that was just loud. <laughs> well, you just think about the Five of Diamonds and just. Um, and that, the reason I got you to name it is because you could have named any card, right? I can't force a card on you or anything like that. You've named any card. So if you just take a card out of the pack, just don't even think about it. Don't look at it. Put it down on the, on the thing. And you could have used any of the, you could have chosen any of them, but you chose the <laughs> five of diamonds. No. And, and then the, the heat, there's no heat on this, you know. You, you do end clean-ish, but that's done now. So that's what I think is important. Now, the, the, in the tutorial, we have um, uh, Ignacio talking us through it, but he kind of does it quite quickly. And then the, the Vanishing Ink guys kind of talk us through more slowly how to set it up and, and all the little details and the little things like, you know, you, you do that to give it that feeling of air. And he does mention that in the first part of the download, but just they, they go back over all those things you can make this more convincing. Um, and also then lots of, they kind of jam different ideas. Now, there's loads of stuff you billet switches and things like that. For me, it's if I want to do a billet switch, I'll do a billet switch. I don't need a, a big bit of silk to do it. And I know they do say that you, you've got to justify it, but I think that once it's in play, people have got somewhere to go with this. If you do a transposition or something like that, where, how they're going to, well, they're going to look at the cloth. If you make this the main trick, I think for me that's an issue. It's, for me, it's a way to get into something. Um, or a way to, like the four ace thing's a bit different because it's used subtly and then you clean up at the end. Now talk, the clean up, 
which I think is an important part of it. You're showing that silk empty, rolling it up, putting it on the table. Um, other than the bit where you produce the cards, that's fine, that's clean. They, they can't scrutinize, they can't pick it up and have a good look at it, but they're not gonna want to do that. But with the other cleanup, you are gonna need a table. We're well, gonna need a table anyway, aren't you? Because you can't lay it on your lap, but <laughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna need, to need a table to use it, but for the cleanup, you're gonna need a table, but also you're gonna have to have the audience in front of you, and also you're gonna have to be seated, I would say. You could do it standing, but not with audience around you. So that might give you an idea of what, what sort of goes on there. But I think it's nice, but you, when you end clean, you want to be, you know, putting this away over there and let it go. You don't want people picking it up. It's easy. The Aces routine he does, I would say, isn't. It's going to some sleight of hand. It's going to take some work. Um, it's not really knuckle busting, but there's some um, courage needed to, to... Courage is the wrong word, isn't it? Courage is you know, proper brave people. I'm talking about um, confidence. <laughs> there you go. Blimey. Confidence. You need to be confident with a deck of cards. I'll put that there at the moment. It's all going tremendously well here, uh, but it's not knuckle busting. So, in summary, after that rambly old review, I really like doing it. I love playing with it. It feels lovely. I've really enjoyed practicing that ace routine. I've really enjoyed practicing with the gimmick. It feels nice in your hands, and I think people are going to really enjoy it. The, all the stuff with billet switches, I'd say, for me, not necessary. This is going to be a part of what you do, not the main thing of what you do, in my opinion. I think there is some care for the gimmick that you're going to have to take into consideration. It's going to need an iron every now and then. In certain lighting, I think there may be a kind of giveaway. Uh, so you're going to have to be careful, but it's, there's nothing difficult about doing it. And the angles are pretty good. I had the girls standing all around me. They couldn't really see anything. Uh, so most of you are going to be able to do this pretty quickly, I would say. And it's well made, by the way. It's going to last you forever. Again, bit of an iron every now and then, but that's it. I think it's magical. I think it's a great opener. I think it's very lovely, but it is quite limited for what you can do with it. So if you like that thing that you see, get it. If you think you're going to be able to do loads of different things with it, you are, but whether you will or not is another matter. So uh, there you go. That is Thin Air by Ignacio Lopez and Vanishing Ink. Uh, please do use the links below if you're going to buy this because it's not an affiliate thing, but it, it, it kind of means that people keep sending me stuff. And uh, thanks to Vanishing Ink for sending this to me. Uh, any questions in the comments below? I answer those questions on Thursday evenings at the live shows. Do come along and hang out. It's a lot of fun. Five o'clock UK time on Thursday evenings. Um, I'll be talking and answering your comments and questions. And do like and subscribe and share this on the socials if you like it. And feel free to tell your mates. All right. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.